The small community of Maypen is just five short miles off the Philip Goldson Highway by road, but that roadway doesn't exist anymore. It's covered under as much as six feet of water. Today our journey started in a small skiff which skimmed over the dark waters, stretching over more than a mile of road. From there, we maneuvered through a shortcut which took us to Black Creek, which our guide told us is now about 20 feet deep. After a half mile on the creek, we rejoined the road and then headed out onto the Belize River. It all seems complicated and unnecessary, but for the residents of Maypen, this is actually the easier route. We switched boats on the banks of the Belize River for the last three miles into the village. At that point, the water was only an inconvenience, but as we neared the community, we could see that the problem is much worse than that. There are only about 10 families in Maypen, and four of them depend on livestock to survive. But as you can see, there is so much water that there is no pasture land for the cattle and sheep to graze. So they are literally starving. I know, Mike, you see the situation that we're in. It's not a nice situation. Um, if you notice, we have four um, farmers that really affected and need assistance with livestock. And um, I hope that whosoever can help or the agriculture department who are responsible for agriculture give us a help. In terms of the four families that are affected with, in terms of livestock, um, livestock is the livelihood of those four families? Of course, yes. Um, that's their um, income and that's the, um, the way they survive. At one home we stopped, the farmer was struggling to keep his cattle alive on his last supply of feed. He has to keep them in this muddy, soggy swamp because his pasture is covered with water. Buntin Moody owns over 100 head of cattle, and if he does not get help, he could lose them. Right now, the animal, the place flood out, and the animal, they never even got a place to rest. And I need some feed and thing, you know. My grass is place where I used to feed with underwater, so I really need some help. I mean, some feeding at least, no? And maybe if I could get place to um, transport them, eh? I'll transport one amount. Maybe one fifty head. Lighten up the crowd, you know. One of his neighbors, Daryl Rayburn, has 16 head of cattle. He has a little dry land left, so his situation is not yet dire. But it's close, and he's appealing for some feed to give to his cattle. He right now where the place there is water, right, because the animal ain't got the land right now. But after the water go down, it'll be a problem because you know have no feed. Because the whole grass we had there, the water don't the kill in there already. They have leaf feed right now because chop leaf base here, I think we're up to now. When the water go down, I have a problem. Because I know I have none. This water stands like this roughly about, about three weeks now, right? Yeah. About three weeks, it up like this. And this is not really the problem that when it fall off, now the cow don't know, I got nothing to eat, you know? So I uh, stay the sofa till maybe next year. While there is no threat to life, there is a threat to the livelihoods of these families. For the others who live in Maypen, the problem is a little more routine where floods are concerned. They cannot move freely in and out of the community so they need assistance with food and other basic rations. As you see, um, Mike, the, the, the entire road has water in and out is a problem. So I think that they also will need assistance by um, having uh, help by food, no? So food is their primary concern right now? Right, the rest of them, it's food. Because um, it, it, it is a problem for them to back and forth as you see we transport two boats we went to one point in a smaller skiff and the next point it's a bigger skiff and some of the people don't have any access of that um, situation as i do the red cross is scheduled to visit the area on friday to help with those concerns chair lady of maypen olivia moody is hopeful that the agriculture department will follow suit and assist with their livestock problems since this flooding three weeks ago we get a, a little um, packages from Nemo, and now the, the Red Cross requested that he will help us um, sometime tomorrow, and that will be a great help for us because he, I am he always Red Cross is a um, organization we always help us in time of this time here situation. But I guess now the other agency that you need will be the Agriculture Department. Yes, of course. I really need to appeal to the Agriculture Department to put this in practice. Residents told us that the last time water was so high in Maypen was five years ago. It is expected that the floods will recede in January. Mike Rodon for News 5.